In update 7.0, we release a new map Abyss, which we designed together with our players. The map follows our previous community project – paint jobs, robots and the pilot. We actually started working on it long before it was first announced. Before commencing the development of a map, we need to decide on its basic parameters, such as setting, size, cover layout and so on. As early as the end of 2019, we ran a poll to find out what type of maps our players like the most. If we take settings, for example, space and nature were the most popular choices. In terms of playstyle, a combination of sniper and brawler tactics won. Besides, the players were very happy about interactive environments, such as kill zones on castle, carrier and factory. In our next poll, this time about the new map itself, we combined all these parameters and added several new ideas on top. For example, you could vote for transportable beacons or stationary teleports. We posted the poll on WarRobot social media. And here's what we followed next. Players chose unusual nature environment as a setting for the new map and teleports for the new map's main feature. In search of unusual scenery, we came upon pictures of a volcanic mining site. It is a gigantic crater formed by the eruption of magma. We placed a production platform above the crater. The name of the map was also selected by a community poll. I personally liked Mir, which means peace in Russian. It's a name of a famous volcanic mining site in Russia. However, the winner name Abyss is much more self-explanatory. Afraid of heights? Don't even think of looking over the edge. We started to work on the map layout. Players often wonder why our new maps look like LEGO on test server. Well, first of all, we like LEGO. Uh, secondly, this approach works perfectly for early testing. Even though the grey blocks look like abstract art, they give everybody the idea of how the map feels early on. And we can adjust it quickly while it's still raw. After initial tests, we need to receive some general feedback. Is it interesting to fight in this environment? We made adjustments after each test until we get the desired result. After testing, we pass the map draft to our artists, and they turn cubes into real objects. Abyss is the first map designed for our robots remastered, so it required much better graphics than our previous maps. The visual style of the map was also defined by community poles. We had two poles for mining site buildings and their teleports. And in the following competitions, people suggested the concepts of the map landmark and the logo of the DSC faction that controls the area. We ran two creativity competitions. The first to find a concept of the map landmark that will be positioned in its key area. The second to choose a DSC logo. We received dozens of amazing artworks and their authors received their well-earned prizes. However, only one concept would make it into the game. Our art department jury looked for a landmark object that not only would look great, but also would fit within the map perfectly. But even so, choosing the best one was not an easy task. While our artists worked on visuals, we ran more public tests. First, with models and draft textures, to make sure that they don't break the gameplay. Then, with final textures and lighting. In order not to waste time, we tested the main feature of the map, teleports, separately on other maps. We had to be sure that teleports work with our gameplay even on classical maps such as Springfield. Finally, the map is ready. Ahead of the release, our testers run the most extreme round of tests. They look for bugs that remained unnoticed even during the test server sessions. What if I stand on this particular slope using this particular robot? Oh no. Guys! I fell to the ground! Finally, we eliminate those rare bugs and optimize the map so it runs smoothly and looks sharp on every device. The Abyss is almost ready and will appear in the game very soon. Thank you for your patience and for your amazing artworks. We hope you will like the result. See you over the abyss, commanders!